following announcement has been paid for by the New World Order. It's still real to me, damn it! This is the gargoyle of the front row fanatics, and you're watching my two good friends on Top Rope Reality. Hello, buddy. Welcome back to Top Rope Reality. I'm Mike Hogan. I'm just a cat. And this is episode 148. Only one away. What? On a few little episode uh, parts. <laughs> a few segments we, Before left. we get to the big year end. Because three leads to four. And then four leads to the next week. Four next somehow time. leads to part one again. It does. Very weird. It's very strange. We don't believe in five around here. <laughs> five is a disappointment. Yes. <laughs> I think four is... Four is more than enough. Yes. The fans are like, please, no more. <laughs> no more than four. No more. No more than four. We don't get politics here. So. Uh, let's go. Oh, I did it. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> Let's let's talk about uh, making the move. Who gained, lost, or stayed the same oh, from people who moved up from the NXT? <laughs> yeah. well, this is a bad first. one. This is not a good list. Kurt Hawkins. He has not gained, not a legally split or nothing. Nope. Ever. I mean, they're trying to use his losing record as something. It's good. a story. <laughs> yes. I'm 172 and or 0 and 172. Here's what you do with Kurt Hawkins. You put him back with that. Yes, you do. Exactly. No you let Zach it. have his little feud with Mojo, and then put them two back together as a tag team, and don't break them up. Ever again. Give them victories. Give them championships, and it will help Kurt Hawkins and Zach Ryder. I mean, they already have history. Put them back together. Yeah. Like, honestly, uh, this is ridiculous. Because the two of them, in individuals, are just going to be jobbers the whole time. Mm -hmm. They got nothing. Because that's going to put over Mojo. Of course he is, because it's the younger guy. Yep. <clears throat> the younger person. We got Curtis Axel. He gained and he's lost. Oh, yeah, he's about gaining. And then he gained again. again. Well, when the Miz's gone, it hurts him a little bit. He needs to get the Miz back. Why you is he gone? To film a movie. Oh, so he's not hurt or nothing. No. He's just filming. No, that's why he lost the title to him. Tell me, he, uh, he fil he's filming him. He's him and Shawn Michaels and Becky Lynch, right? Mm-hmm. The, the, it's like the sixth Marine. How yeah, many are we going to have of those? His fourth. I know. They, they, they gave it to him now. <laughs> yeah, no. Hey, if it works, whatever well, works, I guess. We're not going to audition anybody else. It's just going to be the myth. Hey. John Cena said, I don't want it anymore. Uh, Ted DiBiase was pretty good, though. I liked his. I don't know if you've ever watched any of them. but I saw John's. <laughs> You're like, oh, Teddy. I saw the watch. first one. like, okay, enough of the Marine. Yeah, they're pretty good. I haven't watched all of the Miz's. I think I watched his first one. That was it. I'd like to watch the one with all of the people yeah, in it. Like that Bo might be a little better. So. Bo and Heath Slater, I think, is in it too. Mm -hmm. Naomi. Naomi. Curtis Axel. Maurice. Maurice. That's true. Oh, well, she got knocked up. Hey, -o. We got uh, Dana Brooks coming in here, number three. Uh, she's been pretty stagnant. She has. She's a face, she's here, she's a face. She's a face. I mean, when she was with Charlotte, that was the best thing she had. And I think she's face again. No, yeah, but she's healed again, though. Is she healed again? Yeah, somebody she's healed. Who's she with? She ain't doing nothing? She ain't with nobody. She's just taking on Oscar. That's so sad. Yeah. But yeah, she's a jobber to the stars, pretty much. She is. Which, I mean, and, you know, unfortunately her, her boyfriend passed away, her fiancé. Right. Yeah, the bodybuilder. That was pretty sad. Yeah, yeah. And then she was off TV for a while because of that, obviously. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Understandably so, because he know. just, I think he, like, uh, choked to death or something at home by himself. I think you're right. That's sad. It's a hard way to go out. Yeah. Because you got nowhere to help you. Nope. That's sad stuff. But, I mean, she has a great look and everything. I just don't, I don't think they know what to do with her. No. I think when they do another shake-up, she'll move to SmackDown and try her over SmackDown and see if anything changes. Same if not, out the door. And see, and here's my thing. Even if they don't, like, 
even if they don't release them, I mean, I like the idea of people rotating back around in the NXT. Yeah. If you've got nothing for them on the main roster, but you still want to keep them under contract, send them down there. I mean, yeah, well, no, I know. Freshen it up? There's some you can't. Well, no, you're not going to send Seth Rollins down to NXT. No. Well, there's some that can be, and I don't care if they've been in the company 50 years. <laughs> some of them just saying, you know, Heath Slater could go back to freaking NXT. But Heath Slater and Rhino, to keep them together and send them back down to NXT. Yeah. Be a good team down there. We're talking tag division. Not yeah. at all. <clears throat> You know, I mean, Curtis Axel and Bo Dallas, it wouldn't shock me at all if one day they went back down there. Because, see, you have your knowledge of being up in the big leagues. Exactly. So you can and help you the go people back down, down there. and tell the new people, hey, what you can do, what you can't do, exactly. what you need to do, how you need to do this, not do this. Exactly. I mean, it's, it's a learning thing all the way around for everybody. It really is. Freshes up storylines in NXT, helps the younger guys coming up to the big leagues. It really does. Next, we have Dash Wilder. <laughs> Them two are just, ever since they got caught up, it's been like a, a curse. Mm -hmm. One gets injured, and while the other one's still okay. Mm -hmm. They don't both get injured at the same time. It doesn't work that no. way, apparently, for them. And then all of a sudden, that one comes back, they're on for a few weeks, and the other one gets injured. Because like, Dash was the one that had his wire, his uh, mouth wired shut, mm -hmm. and now the other one's injured. And we're back for about two weeks. And then the, the, what, the yeah. bald one got hurt. Yes. What's his name? <clears throat> I thought maybe it was on here, but it's not on here. Dawson. Scott Dawson. That's he's it. the one hurt right now. Yes. All right? So, they're saying that he's still got a couple more months. That's ridiculous. I don't even know what happened to him, but still. Like, they can't get any traction. They're, and Vince is not going to want to push him if it looks like they can just keep getting injured. Mm -hmm. So, good tag team, but it's like they got called up and it was a curse to him. It's weird. Yeah. So he hasn't he hasn't gained anything. No. He's just there. He's just there. Sad. David Otunga. <laughs> well, he lost his wife. Let's put it that way. Which I don't know if they ever officially... Did they ever officially get married? I don't know. I know they're going through stuff right now. I don't know if it's actual divorce or <clears throat> what. Or they're just trying to figure out what to do with the kid. But well, he got... She, so dro he, yeah, he she got dropped it. all that and he got full custody. custody. Yes. Which probably makes more sense because he's probably home more. Because he's not a wrestler anymore. Be home a lot. <laughs> a lot more. Vince uh, is like, what? We lost that? We lost Jennifer Hudson. Possibility of her being around now? Yep, get rid of him. Because, <laughs> yes. I mean, he's he went to go film a movie. So yeah. they took him off of commentary because he wasn't SmackDown. They moved him to Raw. Immediately after going to Raw, he got the movie, had, got the the movie, movie. thing, which I haven't heard anything more yes. about that. that Booker, Booker T in Booger, there. Booker, yes, Booker T, him, because it's good. They put him over there. And he was supposed to be gun going by now. At the end of the summer, they said Booker was going to be back to doing the pre-shows. Mm -hmm. And instead, they have got Otunga in the pre-shows and not put him back on. Which I thought they were trying to go with the whole younger vibe of, you know, you got Otunga, you got Graves, you got uh, Byron, you know, the right. younger people. Right. And we got the old man Booker T in there still. Yep. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't mind David Otunga. He just, he didn't speak up a lot, but... I'd rather hear David Otunga any day than hear, it's good, it's good. And they're all over the place, too. Quacky, quacky, ducky, shacky, whatever. No, it, what was it? Said, what was his thing? What's Booker's thing? <coughs> ducky, ducky, quack, shucky, quack. Ducky. Shucky, ducky, quack, quack. Yes. It's annoying. We don't do that. He just does his good. He doesn't do that anymore. He just does good. And he pulls to the heels. Then he pulls to the faces. Yeah, they're all three of them all over the place because Corey Graves can't stand Enzo, but then he goes for all the other heels. So and then Michael Cole likes Elias, who's but, a heel, but uh, uh, Corey hates him. And Booker don't Booker like Booker T hates him. Jason Jordan, but he likes somebody else. And then you know, <laughs> stupid. <laughs> it does. Yeah, I know. You know, uh, the commentators aren't <laughs> supposed to. They're supposed to be unbiased technically, but they've always had that. Heel and babyface commentators. Yeah. They've always done that. They've never done blurring the lines. That's why it made Jerry and JR great. Yes. Heenan and Monsoon great. Yes. Heenan, I mean, Monsoon and, and Jesse great. Yeah. Because you had one guy pulling for the heels, the heels could do no wrong, and one guy. They even the did that in WCW who, with Tony and Heenan. Yeah. Still did that way with them, too. The heels, see, if he used a foreign object, I didn't see anything. Right. <laughs> Something's wrong on my screen. I didn't see that. He poked, in him, he poked him in the eye. He poked him in the eye. No, right. he, he was just trying to get something in his eye. Right. 
Now we're like, I hate this guy. Well, I love this guy. It's like so. It's just something but uh, up next is Fandango. <sighs> you know, you know. He came in when his opening, you know, thing. He was Johnny Curtis for the longest time. He did the NXT thing, all yeah. the actual NXT show that they did. They won at WrestleMania against Jericho. But he won his debut match at WrestleMania against Jericho and then cup of it. Mm -hmm. Nothing. The best thing for him right now is this tag team thing. Do not split them up. No. There's no sense in it. It doesn't. I think they're very underrated. I think they're actually a good working tag team. I think they work very well together. Yeah, uh, people really wanted. Them. I thought they were going to win the World Tag Team Titles. I mean, the fans are so behind them; it's crazy. I mean, they, they do, know they're being screwed over. Not they do the correctly. comedy thing, but they also work very well in the ring. They kind of like Edgy Christian. Yeah, when they were doing the comedy thing. Exactly. So I think he's definitely gained a lot. Yes. Yeah. You know, he really hit a major, like, just way down in the gutters, and then he yes. really pulled back up with the tag team thing. But he's done. I mean, he has done. Gained and he lost, he gained and lost and gained again. Yes. Okay, we'll do seven eight since the Usos. Yes, seven eight together. Usos. They've gained. But they can't figure out they want to be heel or face. I know. That's another problem that's with a, them. That's another problem with them. Uh, I think they're good because heels, but they, they want to be cheered. When they had time. talking smack, they were bad on SmackDown Live. Get on there with Daniel Bryan and they were goofy and, and Daniel was that goof with them. You're like, no. Daniel should be reprimanding them for being bad. You're right. You know? <clears throat> but they were rapping together and stuff. But, yeah. I mean, honestly, they have had the most longevity of any of the tag teams here lately. Yeah. And, I mean, there's no sense in ever splitting them up. They're twins. So it's not going to work if you split them up. No. Um, so, <clears throat> they should definitely retire as a tag team. Mm -hmm. But, I, I've... Their career, tag team wrestlers. And there's nothing wrong with that. It. Look at the Road Warriors. Be like some of the other career. greats. Career tag team wrestlers. <clears throat> yep. Think about demolition. Don't put them separately. Think about the Road Warriors. They tried that. Don't do nope. it separately. Keep them as there's a tag team. There's some people that have to be tag teams. And there's nothing wrong with it's it. Not. Nothing. Um, and there's some that are a tag team wrestler with many, many tag team partners, like Cesaro. Yes. Goodness gracious. Yeah. Uh, but yes, the Usos have definitely gained here lately, and I love number nine. Yes. Jinder Mahal. Jinder Mahal is like, he is the epitome and the story of just down on your luck. You get fired. <laughs> they bring you back and you're nothing but a jobber. Yep. But you keep working and keep working and keep working. And they see that you're working on your body. You're working on your promos. And they're like, you know what? We're going to give this guy a chance. Mm -hmm. Could have had a lot to do with the fact that they were really expanding to India. Sure, but that's called right place, right time. Does, and that's yes. okay. Yes. Right place, right time is okay. If that's how you're that's your your push, that's your opportunity. Hey, there's a lot it. of people that's gotten pushed only because someone got injured. Or think about Rey Mysterio, only because someone died. I know that sounds bad, it's but true. look at Christian. The only reason he got a world championship was because Edge returned. got hurt. So Ray got a championship because Eddie dies. You're right. It's part of it. So Jinder Mahal, right place, right time, and he's taking full advantage of it. He's our. He's he's not from India, but he is. And we're going to India, so let's. Hey, yeah. we need those fans. That's exactly that's what I'm not technically from India, but he can speak the language, and yep. he's actually a descendant from in, right. you know, from India. Okay. But even though we're about to get to number ten, I would say that Jinder Mahal, after this whole ten list here, in my opinion, because he went so low down and gained the most, yes. that he would be the number one person on this list that's done the most. In yeah. the long run, if you think about his whole story. Yes. Well, the list ain't really like this. Oh, I mean, I know. But yeah, it's but not you're like right. A, you're, you're right, yes. I'm just looking at, okay, if you look at everybody, most of these people have been, have basically done nothing. Have been, you know, yes. they've either been stagnant or they've stayed very low. Mm -hmm. Where he started out all right, did the whole thing with him and Greg Kali, and then dropped really far down. And then got fired, and now, I mean, he has completely come all the way to the top. And you just don't see that anymore. No. It never happens. No. Once they see you as a jobber, they don't ever see you as anything else. Mm -hmm. Because I guarantee but you now, won't see Zack Ryder as World Heavyweight Champion. I'm sorry. The true test is now what will be one year from now. Right. Will he stay? Gender in Mahal's career right now. Right. Will he stay in that? And we'll have to revisit that because 
I want to see if they keep him in that, or they're like, yep, you're back down to the bottom. Or do they see that they've got money in him, and they, they at least keep him in the the other yeah. you know, the other uh, title, the United, uh, States. United States Championship, which would also be good. Work. Yes. Because he's from India, and he's got your U.S. <laughs> championship? Come on. Yes. Like I said, but they wasted Rusev. They have. They, I mean, I, now, mean, I do love the Happy Rusev Day thing. I'm probably going to get that shirt. I'm just, I'm just saying when Rusev, you know, United States champion, yep. that's great. But they really have wasted. Once he got me with John Cena, it was just nothing. It's been downhill for him. I mean, and he had a team with Jinder Mahal. And he's like, now he's got a team with Aiden English or a lackey with Aiden. Whatever it's supposed to be. I mean, they said, we got nothing for neither one of you. Put them together. Well, you wanted because you said him singing for Rusev Day. It made sense. And now they're a tag team. I mean, if they got nothing else, instead of firing them, at least put them together. I mean... And it's just like he could be that goofy lackey for Rusev, mm -hmm. you know, which eventually could turn into which, a, a storyline where, you know. They could shock yeah. everybody and they could walk out of Clash with the titles. It's just true. Everybody does love the Rusev Day thing. But They've gotten behind it. They do. Uh, well, let's finish up with number 10, uh, Kevin Owens. Now, Kevin Owens, the reason why I said Jinder Mahal ha uh, is the best one on this list yes. is because Kevin Owens has literally stayed the same level. He has. He's won almost every belt. He's been NXT champion. Mm -hmm. He's been Intercontinental. Mm -hmm. He's been U.S. Mm -hmm. He's been the uh, Universal. Universal. Yep. So he only likes the tag team titles, which is right around the corner of him and Sammy keep doing what they're doing. I think so, yes. That's why they put them two together. Because I think they've got enough people in the title picture right now with Jinder and AJ and Nakamura and Orton, Orton yep. that they could be helping the tag team division. Mm -hmm. And it would still work for their characters. Yeah. And he's still he's still got to win. I guess I don't think he's been the WWE champion, has he? Nope. But he's on SmackDown now. So yes. there you go. So he's pretty much won all the belts. So that's why I said, you know, for him, it's he's literally stayed the same. Yes. There's no he hasn't gained <clears throat> or lost because they've kept him in that high up level, which is what we're talking about with gender. Will that happen for him? Will he stay up there? Yeah. And and I'm glad they've done that with Kevin Owens. Because Kevin Owens, okay, he was Universal Champion. He fell out. He lost the title. But there's any time, you know, okay, they could give him the title, any title, back again in a title match. Right. But he's because he's never gone to that level of okay. Well, he's now down. He's dropped down to Kurt Hawkins level. You oh, see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. So he's Ginger can fall back in that if they let it happen. If they do let it happen. Yes. But Kevin Owens, that'd be a long drop. Because he has that stench of three MB hanging around. Him. Exactly. Say so Drew. I think Drew has washed it off. Right. I don't think of Drew anymore with PMB. Right. But with gender, I do. Yeah. So we'll see what happens after after a while. But a good list this time. Good, good list. list. Well, let's jump over to the network here. We talk about uh, War Games. Since we Which was a, war. yeah, we haven't done a show in a while here. Yes. So NXT War Games, you had two of the network matches for uh, NXT television. Mm -hmm. As Ruby Riot with two T's now. Weird. Defeated Sonya Deville. That's Vance. Probably. Uh, but they're saying Ruby Riot is a... Uh, <laughs> there's some other... There's a band named that uh, in a, something else. They found it somewhere else. So anyway, Ruby Riot defeated Sonya Deville. So you had Absolution versus the Riot Squad here. Yeah. Without knowing it. <laughs> Without knowing... Because when they filmed it, they had not debuted yet. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I'm yeah. assuming they already knew about it. Yeah. And then you had Pete Dunne <coughs> defeating Johnny Gargano <coughs> for the United Kingdom Championship to retain it. That was a good match. I haven't watched it yet. Slap your face. I'm so sorry, but I do have, I do, I am representing a Johnny Rattle. We'll just watch the show after and just watch it and just skip everything else. Because now Ruby Riot and Sonya Deville are swapping, swapping victory, so. Really? Yeah, because she beat her there and then this following week on NXT... Oh yeah, they did she a. She passed uh, her out. They did a no holds barred match, yeah. And I did see the no holds barred match. I guess I totally skipped that episode. Totally, totally skipped the episode. What's wrong? Laura, Laura Sullivan defeating Cassius Sono in five eleven. Who called that? Everybody. Definitely me. I definitely said it. Uh, Alistair Black defeated Velveteen Dream in the match of the night. Which you say he's hurt now? I don't know if that's true or not. I wonder if they're just trying to keep him out of the picture. I don't know. Because he said he got hurt in the match. There was nowhere where he was hurt. But see, Johnny took his place. I know. And that's what they said. Did they rewrite something? Did they want to have a Valentine Dream going into the tournament? I mean, going in and being in Johnny's spot. And they said, well, well, well things have changed. Things have changed with so Champa. So let's go ahead and start with this. 
and it doesn't hurt Velveteen's It doesn't, no, no, definitely not. But they're not. saying that he's supposed to got injured, that due to injuries from this very match. Yes. And if you watch the match, I, I don't see anywhere he's injured. I mean, I mean, yeah. So, I mean, yeah, but it lasted yeah. 14 37. It was a great match. Yes, we had the fatal four way for the vacant NXT Women's Championship match as Ember Moon finally got the title after, after Asuka, Asuka, <laughs> left NXT as she defeated Kara Sin, Nikki Cross, and Peyton Royce. I'm sorry, man. In 9.52. Sorry for your girl. I know, both of them. That's true. And then, in what could be considered a main event, but it was up against the other main yes. event, as Cien Amos with Selena Vega defeated in a shocker, an absolute shocker, which you said people were calling it that almost was winning the belt. You told me that. Yes. I didn't see that mess coming. I did not believe that mess. <coughs> I, don't to me, it made no I don't think that's supposed to happen. I don't think so either. I think they called an audible. Once they realized he hurt. that he got hurt, he told the referee, and somebody probably told the referee in the, his ear, mm -hmm. we're going to change the match. Yeah. Because even almost looked confused. Like, he looked shocked. Like, what? What's going on? Um, so, yeah, I don't think he was supposed to win it. And, I mean, of course, you'll never really know. No, nope, you'll never know. But Drew McIntyre did lose the belt, 15-04. And, I mean, it was kind of, to me, it was a lackluster reign because the only other time he defended it was on NXT television, like with Roger Strong. Yeah, that's it. That was kind of sad. But, but think who can't take it away from him. He did win it, so. Uh-huh. Who you think that you know you think you go one NXT to the other and lose the belt? Right. <laughs> I mean, one uh, takeover to the other and lose the belt. Yeah. Uh, then we had the uh, main event, which was a War Games match with no top, which was different, but it made yeah. sense after yeah. we saw what what Adam Cole was doing. The, Bye -bye. the undisputed Sorry. era: Adam Cole, Bobby Fish, and Kyle O'Reilly defeated the Authors of Pain. Aikerman, Raz, Razor. Uh, Razor, and Roderick Strong, which was still weird, but I like it. It was weird, but at least he dressed like them, though. And also the tag team champions, but the titles were not on the line. Sanity, mm -hmm. Alexander Wolf, Eric Young, and Killian Dane in 36 37. Long match. It was a long match, but it was a good match. And I hope that every Survivor Series weekend for TakeOver a will war be a weekend. War Games match. Exactly. And then we go on to Survivor Series as we had three. Pre-show matches, matches as Elias defeated Matt Hardy in 9-15. To start the Awoken. <laughs> right. Yeah. We had Enzo Amore defeat Kalisto to, <laughs> Should have been doing to keep his Cruiserweight Championship. Everybody saw that coming. In 8-45. And then your main event of the pre-show, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn defeated Brizanga. 7-45. Then we start off with The Shield in six-month action, taking on the New Day and defeating them... And a 21 Woo! 20. I didn't realize it was that long. I didn't either. Wow. Then we had Team Raw of Alicia Fox, Sasha Banks, Bailey, Asuka, and Nia Jax defeating Team SmackDown of Becky Lynch, Naomi, Carmella, Natalia, and Tamina with Lana. Five on five Survivor Series inter. inter I almost said intergender. Inner brand elimination match, 18 minutes, 35 seconds. Yes, we also had the United States champion Baron Corbin defeat the Intercontinental champion The Miz in 9 minutes and 35 seconds. <coughs> SmackDown Tag Team Champions The Usos, Jay and Jimmy, defeated the Raw Tag Team Champions Cesaro and Sheamus, non title champion versus champion 15 55. In the SmackDown Women's Championship match, or sorry, Women's Champion Charlotte Flair defeated Raw Women's Champion Alexa Bliss. My submission in an untitled champion versus champion match in 15 minute time limit. <laughs> Universal champion Brock, they're all 15s. Wow, that's weird. That's amazing. Universal champion Brock Lesnar with Paul Heyman defeated WWE champion AJ Styles in an untitled champion versus champion match in 15 25. Something new, something, huh? Yeah, it's weird, dude. And the main event Team Raw of Kurt Angle, Braun Strowman, Finn Balor, Samoa Joe, and Triple H defeated Team SmackDown and Shane McMahon, Randy Orton, Bobby Roode, Shinsuke Nakamura, <coughs> and John Cena. And uh, from the 505 Survivor Series Ender Brand Elimination Match, had Team Raw lost, Kurt Angle would have been fired. And we knew once that was announced that Kurt Angle wasn't going to be fired, they left Kurt Angle. 33 minutes and 22, uh, 20 seconds. I actually thought he was going to be fired. Was SmackDown was going to win, and Angle would be fired, and then we get a new GM. Stink! That's what I was hoping. Hoping, hoping. Hoping, hoping. Hoping, hope. Not hoping for Hogan, but hoping for Stink. <coughs> hoping, hoping. You know, yeah, okay, yeah. 
But yeah, what a pay per view. Two good pay per views right there yeah. on the same weekend. Now. Oh, yeah. I give NXT takeover the. Oh, the win edge. for that one. Yeah, slight edge on that one. That's true. Just for the Alistair Black match. <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and the War Games returning. Of course. And then we got a big thing here where we're. Building a federation, we're going to build our own. We haven't done it in a while. We, we have not done it in a while. Cut it's back now. But we're building a new ECW. Yes. So, I did 24 people. Yes. You did 24 individuals. Men. Men's. Then we did 12 tag teams. 12 tag teams each. each. And then 10 women each. Right. And then we looked at the list to see who we had the same. And whoever we had different, and we combine all that together. Mix it all together. Put them all together. And this is what we came up with. Yes. For your women, we had five the same. Which is very cool. Yes. And then five <coughs> different for each person. Yes. So we had Kimono on our We had Miss Jackie. China. ODB. And Velvet Sky. Which was five of his people. And I had AJ Lee. Medusa, Becky Lynch, Mickey James, and Jazz. Yes, which was five of his. And then the five we had the same <laughs> was Lita, Paige, Asuka, <laughs> Awesome Kong, and Luna. Which is, it, by the way, it's not Asuka. It's a joke because of Kurt Angle. Yes. Just in case anybody wants to freak out about that. Yes. You, if you should have saw that if you watched it normally when he said Asuka. That's true. And then I'm trying to remember how many tag teams we had the same here. We had one, two, three, yeah, about three, about three of them. Yes. So on the tag teams, you can go ahead. <clears throat> we have the Dudley Boys, Axel, and Balls. We have the Good Brothers. Because hopefully he can read my writing. I know. <laughs> we have Roadkill and Danny Doring. We have Just Incredible and and uh, Lance. Lance Storm. The Impact Players. Yes. We have the uh, Carino and Anderson. The Extreme Horsemen. We have Nova and Meanie. BWF. We have Daniels and Kazarian. The Addiction. We have Young Bucks. The Road Warriors. The Eliminators. The FBI. Gotta have the FBI. I have a friend over my shoulder over here. We've got the Briscoe Brothers. The bar. We are the bar. Harlem Heat. The APA. We need some protection. That's true. The Heavenly Bodies. The Freebirds. The Pit Bulls. And the Authors of Pain. A O P. Which would automatically mean that there's a, a, a perfect feud right there. Because who would Paul Ellering be the manager of? The AOP or the Road Warriors? Would he be with the Road Warriors when he first started and then turn on them to go with the younger, better team of the AOP? That's the storyline right itself. Writes itself right there, guys. There it is. Mm -hmm. Which would be a lot better storyline than what they did before when he was with the uh, motorcycle gang. And Paul Ellering was. Remember yeah, that? Disciples of... Disciples of Puck. The DOA. The DOA. The AOP yeah. is better than the DOA. Yes, I see that right there. Uh, November to remember. The Road Warriors versus the Authors of Pain. L-O-D versus A-O-P. <laughs> That's it. Yes. In the bright lights. Yes. But Paul Ellering uh, in a cage. Above Ooh, the, ring. the shock cage. Now let's get to the... Oh, I, forgot. I forgot who all we had the same on this one because we didn't... I, we yeah. didn't slash it up like we did on the women's. We we separated those out. But uh, it was 24 and 24. And then whatever we had the same, and of course would be part of the list. And then whatever he had and I had combined it all together. And this is literally like a who's who. Like this is a great male singles roster. Like this would be a wonderful show to have between the women, the tag team, and the singles. So, so much talent and not very much time. You know, you'd have to have at least two shows. You'd have to have a. a you'd have to at least have two shows. You'd have to have two ECW shows because we're going to start out with Abyss, Dean Ambrose, Akata, Great Muda, Austin Aries, <coughs> and Y2J. And you get a few here. 
No, I think you do Chris Jericho. <laughs> I said Y2J. I don't know, I think you're reading like Y2J. Chris Jericho. Nah. They, they know were, who Y2J is. They're going to throw in Rhino. Dr. Death. Steve Williams, as we let you know, these people can be dead. Yes, dead, alive, current, yes. former, anything. Yes. From any rosters. Bruiser Blue, Brody. It's easy for you to say. Hello. Alistair Black. Kenny Omega. And Bray Wyatt. Ooh. The Eater of Worlds. The Eater of Worlds. And then we have the monster among men, Braun Strowman. We have the Samoan submission machine of Samoa Joe. We've got the the face that runs the place and the man who started the show or whatever. Phenomenal it was. one. The phenomenal one, AJ Styles. We have RBD, Mr. Foe 20, who apparently can't wrestle anymore. Did you see all that? He can't wrestle anymore. I saw that. And we have Tajiri. This is Butcher. <laughs> I was wondering. <laughs> we got Abdullah the Butcher, which would be a scary person to have in ECW. Tell you. Jake Roberts. That's not show, that's snow. Oh, Al Snow. My bad. <laughs> it does look like an H. Adam Cole, baby. baby. Mike Awesome. Not Awesome Kong. I didn't want you to think Awesome oh, Kong in the men's. And Eddie Guerrero. Then we've got. Latino Heat. Exactly. <laughs> then we've got Chris Benoit. Chris Candido, Mikey Whipwreck, Cactus Jack, and Kevin Sullivan. Some crazy folks. It is. To add to that, Raven, Big Stevie Cool. That's true. <laughs> Coke Cabana, C. M. Punk. And Bam, Bam Bigelow. Then we've got the man who really revolutionized ECW and threw the NWA title down on the ground and basically spit on it. Shane Douglas, the franchise play, if you will. We've got the suicidal, homicidal, genocidal, death fight, Sabi. We've got the human suplex machine of Taz with one Z. <laughs> Not, Not one Z's, one Z. Right. And we've no, got, he's got a onesie on. <laughs> and then we've got the Sandman. And finally, the man who embodied ECW, Tommy Dreamer. I mean, if you if you can't put a successful show on with that, or two, you know, two. two at least, really, because you yes. got to split your tag teams up. You got to split the women up, and, and then you got to split all those guys up. I mean, you could do a. You know, if you had like a, a Raw SmackDown, a Nitro Thunder, you'd have two ECWs mm -hmm. with all of them. Oh, most definitely. Be a great show. Yeah, it would be. Well, that's it for part three. Come out to part four of the list. That does. That does. And we continue on with 12 roster moves that we must make right now. We were just talking about that. Well, we got 10 WCW moments you totally don't remember. I or remember. I remember. So you got a great mind. I did. We're also going to do 10 things that you must do at Starcade. We're going to see if they did do these at Starcade. Oh, yeah, that's true. And also, we're going to talk about the Montreal screw job, 10 backstage stories about what really happened that night. Ooh. Which is, that's 20 years as well. Or 25 years. It's crazy, isn't it? It is crazy. Getting old. Come on back. I'm Mike Hogan. I'm just a cow. We'll see you in a few clicks. No, clicks, not points. That's point. Click, click. Something Carl was going off. What's that beeping noise?